The first thing we're going to do is grab our ever useful and handy Travis brick and the big hole there on the bottom of the Travis brick is going to be the back of our Millennium Falcon. So we're going to put a one by one translucent plate there to just make it the engines of our Millennium Falcon. And on the front, we're going to get, right opposite that, we're going to get one of these tile clips, these one by one tile clips, and just put it right there um, so that it's facing this way. So it's like those two triangles that come out of the front of the Millennium Falcon. And then for the side, on the left side of our Millennium Falcon, we're going to get one of these one by one plates, round plates, and just put it on the side stud there. And then on the right side, the right side stud, we're going to get a slope piece. And you're going to have it slope so that the small end goes back towards the engine and it slopes forward and that's going to be the cockpit of our Millennium Falcon. And now to create that round look of the Falcon, we're going to get a inverted radar dish, the 2x2 two two inverted radar dish, and just put one on the top, one on the bottom, and there we have a mini Millennium Falcon. First thing we do is grab our one by one plate with ring clip on side, and then we get a one by one plate with just a regular clip on the side. And you put the clip on top of the ring clip so that it's facing right, because that's going to be the cockpit of our Millennium Falcon. Now on the front here, on the ring clip, we're going to get our one by one slopes and put them sloping forward. So the tall end goes near the clips, and then it slopes down towards the front. And that's going to be our front of the Millennium Falcon. So we do that on both sides. And then once those are on, we grab our 2x2 two two inverted radar dish, and we just put that right there on top like that. And you can see how the shape of the Millennium Falcon is coming along. Now I'm going to turn it around, and here we've got that empty space. I'm going to get a 1x1 one one round plate and just put it in there facing out. And it's not in there very secure. It falls out very easily. So to secure it, I'm going to get a 1x1 one one plate and put this one by one plate in there kind of at an angle so it's crooked or almost makes like a star or a diamond. And now you can see how the tip of that one by one plate is holding that circular plate in place. And now the last part is we grab our minifigure hand and that large part of the hand, the taller part, is going to be clipped onto the back part of the clip here like that. And now we have our Millennium Falcon. The first thing we're going to do is grab this 1x2x2 two two third modified brick and on the back, that's going to be the back of Millennium Falcon, so we're going to put a 1x1 one one translucent blue plate on the back to create the engines and on the front here we're going to get a sloped plate here, just a little slope plate and put it so that the thin part is on top and it slopes down to the thick part. And now we got to create the shape, that round shape of the Millennium Falcon. So we're going to get a 1x3 slope plate and put it so that the back hole here just goes on the front side stud like that. And we're going to do that to both sides because uh, the Millennium Falcon is very symmetrical um, right there. And now for the back part of this, what we're going to do is get a 1x2 slope. And underneath that, we're going to put a 1x2 translucent plate. And that's going to kind of widen those engines of the Millennium Falcon. And we're going to do that two times. So we got a slope and a translucent blue plate, put them together. And now we put them on the back of our Millennium Falcon. And here, you got that back stud, back hole, and just put them together like that. And this is what the interior of our Millennium Falcon looks like. Now, to create that circle look, we're going to get a inverted radar dish and put it so that hole goes on that back stud together like that. And now we have to create the cockpit of our Millennium Falcon. To do that, we go to the right side of our Falcon because that is where the cockpit is located. And we get a one by one headlight brick and you put it so that that headlight is facing forward like that. And then to create that canopy, in the, we're going to get a translucent black cone piece and just put that right there. And here we have a mini Millennium Falcon. The first thing we're going to do is grab our ever handy Travis brick and we're going to get that big large open end and that's going to be the front of our Millennium Falcon and we're going to get a one by one brick and stick it in there like that and we have a front of our Millennium Falcon. Now on the sides we're going to get these larger one by four slope 
pieces and we're going to put it so that the big fat end it lines up to the back of our Travis brick like this. So you can see that they're flush when I put them together. And we're going to do that to both sides. We're going to get two of those one by four slope pieces there. And now for the back of our Millennium Falcon, we've got that back stud there. We're going to get a one by four plate and put it so that you see that little hole there, the, the stud that kind of sticks out in the center. We're going to put that into the hole of our Travis brick stud like that. Um, and now we've got it lined up evenly. Now on top of that one by four plate, we're going to get a one by two plate and put it right there in the center. And on top of that one by two plate, we're going to get a one by two translucent tile. And now this is where I vary from Lego because they use two one by two round tiles, but I, I don't like that look as much. I like the single bar for the Millennium Falcon, but you can use whatever you want. Now on the sides here, we're going to get these little cheese slopes and we're going to put it so the thick end goes against the tile like that. And you'll see this is very loose, but it's going to get secure soon. Now we do the other side, tile on the side. And now to make our cockpit. Now on the cockpit, you're going to put on the right-hand side, that right-hand stud. We're going to get a headlight brick. You're going to put it so the headlight brick attaches to the stud. Don't lose our round brick there. And have it face forward. And now that round brick that tried to escape, that one-by-one one round brick, is just going to go right there on the stud. And then on top of that round brick to finish off our cockpit, we are going to get a one by one round tile piece and put that on front. And that's going to be like the glass of our cockpit to see out of. Now on the other side, we still got that little stud there sticking out. We're going to get another one by one round tile piece and just put it on the side. And like I said, this is very loose. It moves around. But now we're going to secure the whole thing with these four by four round radar dishes. You're just going to put the whole of the radar dish on top of the stud there for the top of our Millennium Falcon. And then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom where we put those together like that. And here we have a mini Lego Millennium Falcon. To build one side of our Millennium Falcon, we're going to get a 1x4 plate. And then at the end of this plate, we're going to put a slope with four slots like that. Now, in the middle here, we're going to get a one by one plate and just put it in the middle. And then at the end, on that last stud, we're going to get this slope with a cutout and put that right here. Now, you're going to notice there's a little bit of a divot here, so it's not smooth. What I'm going to do is put this one by one translucent blue plate underneath, and that's going to be our engine. And so now that's our smooth bottom. And now here on the top, I'm going to get a one by two plate and just put that where that little divot is to make it more smooth. And then we still got a little hang up over here, so it's not completely smooth. So what I'm going to do is get a one by two jumper plate and put that on top. And that not only makes it smoother, but it also acts as that little circular escape pod that we see on the side of the Millennium Falcon. The cockpit side of the Millennium Falcon is very similar in its build at the beginning. We've got our one by four plate. We've got our slope with four slots. We've got a one by one plate in the center. We've got this slope with cutout at the end. We're once again putting a translucent plate underneath to, for our engine and to smooth out that bottom. And in the center where we've got that little divot, we've got a one by two plate that we put in there like that. But here's where it gets a little bit different. Now on the back here, we're gonna get a one by one plate and just put it right there next to the slope in the center on top of that one by two plate. And then on top of that, we're gonna get a one by one slope piece and just put it there. And that kind of helps smooth out this back part here. And then we've got this one stud exposed here. We're gonna get a one by one stud with one stud on the side. And you know, some people use a headlight brick for this piece, but I like just the regular stud because it gives a smoother look here while a headlight brick kind of sticks out a bit. And then on top to create our cockpit, we've got a translucent black cone piece. And we're just gonna put that right on front of the top stud of that one by one brick. And here's the cockpit side of our Millennium Falcon. To put these sides together, we're gonna to have to build the core of our Millennium Falcon. To do that, we get this brick here. It's like a two by one by three brick with four side stud. So the um, actual name is in the description, so please look there. But on the back here, this large end, we're gonna get another one by one plate for our engine. Just put it on the back. 
And then underneath, just to make it flush on the bottom, we're gonna put a one by two plate on the bottom of that brick, like that. Now we're ready to put the sides on. Now, the right side of the Millennium Falcon has the cockpit. So on the right side of our ship, we're gonna put the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. We're just gonna line it up so that the back two notches here on the one by four plate go onto those two side studs. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. And what you're gonna do is those back two notches on the one by four plate, put them on. And to create the full Millennium Falcon, that little circular look of the Millennium Falcon, we're gonna get a four by four radar dish, inverted radar dish, and that stud on the bottom is gonna connect the last stud on the center brick. So we just kind of put it together like that. And here we have a completed Millennium Falcon. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.